After accidentally leaving an ice chest of fish and shrimp in your car for a week while you were on vacation, you're now in the market for a new vehicle. Your insurance didn't cover the loss, so you want to make sure you get a good deal on your new car. Given a series of car asking prices and another series of car fare prices, determine which cars for sale are a good deal. In other words, identify cars whose asking price is less than their fair price. The result should be a list of integer indices corresponding to the good deals and asking prices. Here's the solution I came up with. Let's break it down. Now in practice, I'd probably restructure this data and solve this problem with data frames. But since we haven't learned data frames yet, I've stuck to a series-based solution. So if we do asking prices minus fair prices, it actually uses the index labels to subtract the correct fair prices from each asking price. The problem with this is that the resulting series gets reordered by the index in alphabetical order, so we have to take another approach. My strategy here is basically, for each asking price, get the corresponding fair price. To do that, we can say fairprices.loc and feed it the index labels from asking prices. We'll store that result in a variable called all fair prices. Then we set off market prices equal to asking prices minus all fair prices. So the good deals are going to be the negative values in this series. Next, we set below fair prices equal to off market prices less than zero, which gives us a Boolean series indicating whether each car for sale is below its fair price. We'll also chain that with dot reset index drop equals true to make the index a range index like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So now our goal is to pick out the indices corresponding to true values, in this case 0 and 4. If we do below fair prices dot loc square brackets below fair prices, we'll get back the subseries with just true elements. And then we can chain that with dot index dot to list to get back the index values in a list. 